In the early morning rain With a dollar in my hand So I best be on my way In the early morning rain Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. And just a reminder that I'm donating all of my November YouTube channel membership revenue to the Movember Mustache Challenge in support of men's health. You can donate directly by using the link in the description below. Hey guys, check your nuts. But now I can see your nuts. I thank you. Thanks. One of the coolest things about having this YouTube channel is virtually meeting people from all around the world that share the love of fountain pens. And I've been overwhelmed by the generosity of the viewers of my channel. People love their pens so much that I get gifts of pens and pen accessories because the urge to share the joy simply overwhelms their common sense. Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, I do not do that thing. A great example of this is this Ranga 4C fountain pen that Michael Stoop of the Netherlands gifted me almost a year ago. Michael felt that Ranga pens do not get the recognition that they deserve and ordered this pen to be sent directly to my home. Amazing generosity. I reviewed this hand-turned ebonite fountain pen, which has a buttery smooth Yovo broad nib and has been used ever since. This pen has not been without ink since I received it. Sometimes I'll go a couple of weeks before writing with it, but it writes first time every time I use it. I knew when I started writing with this pen that I would have to get another one. I had my sights set on a Model 5 Ebonite pen with a number eight size titanium nib, but never quite got around to pulling the trigger. Then Mr. Candon of Ranga Pens put up a group buy notice on Facebook for the Ranga Model 3C at some really terrific prices that I couldn't resist. And here is my Ranga 3C. There are a huge number of options in colors, materials, hardware and nib sizes and types. I chose this deep red ebonite with a gold clip and a number six size Yovo medium steel nib. So join me as I compare these two beautiful handmade ebonite pens right now. <music> I was introduced to Ranga Pens by Michael Stoop, who is a viewer and a fan, and he sent me free and gratis, and besides, for no charge, as a gift. That's it. I've been made redundant. Yeah. This Ranga 4C Ebonite pen with this beautiful number six size Yovo broad steel nib and this pen is just glorious I've been writing with it ever since I received it and I will link the review I did of this pen in the description below uh, but I vowed to myself I was going to get another one and the pen has arrived and I'm going to open it up now the Ranga pens come from India of course shipped wrapped in this linen material and stitched <laughs> he, he, he went for a little walk. <laughs> Quite unique packaging. So I'm going to need my scissors to unbox this. Take some of that stitching out. Charlie Brown. Here I am. I had a little trouble with the scissors. And there we go. And then it's wrapped in newsprint. And we have a 
card from Mr. Camden of Ranga Pens. This one is got a really lovely purple material on it. Reddish purple, magenta. I love that color. And a button clasp, Ranga logo, foil stamped on the top. Let's open the pen. Ranga pens, an eyedropper, an extra pen. They always seem to give you an extra pen. That's very, very nice. And the pen itself. Now let's get the pen out of the bubble wrap. Here it is in its wrapper. And here's the pen. It was called Red with Black Specks. So there's a few black specks, but I wouldn't say they were prevalent. And I wanted the polished finish. This is ebonite. And there's the number six size Yovo steel nib. This one's in medium. Ebonite feed. Ebonite section. There's one of those black flecks. These are handmade, hand-turned ebonite made in India. So I'm going to go ahead, clean this pen out and ink it up and write with it for a while. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. And then we'll be back with a full review. The Ranga 3C. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this pen. Ranga pens are made in India using decades of acquired skill and knowledge handed down through generations of fountain pen makers. The pens are artisanal in every sense of the word, and the product you receive is unique. It's almost like it was made personally for you. It's me. I'm the bobblehead. Yes! <laughs> in a sense that's very true because there are so many options and choices you'll end up with a truly unique pen both the 4c and the 3c models are the same length and relative shape they are oversized pens here they are with a pilot metropolitan for scale because they are made of ebonite they are very light i chose black for the 4c because in my mind ebonite is black I wanted a classic black ebonite pen, but I was also very fond of the deep red ebonite that Alan Light demonstrated on his Ranga Model 5 oversized ebonite pen. So I ordered this one in this beautiful deep red ebonite. It's called red with black specks, but I couldn't see any black specks in any of the photographs. In reality, it shows very few black specks. They almost look like inclusions in the ebonite. The pen is roughly cylindrical in shape. The top is rounded and then the cap is straight to the end. The gold colored clip has a nice wave to it and it's very springy and usable. And it has Ranga laser etched into the top. There's a small rounded step down to the barrel which tapers up slightly and then bulges a bit and then tapers down to the rounded end. The cap unscrews with just about one turn to reveal a long tapering section of the same red ebonite material and a large flare towards the end, towards the number six size gold colored Yovo medium steel nib. And here's a look at the ebonite feed. The nib and the feed are friction fit inside the section. There are absolutely no markings lettering or branding on this stock Yovo steel nib except for a small letter M on the bottom of the shoulder for medium. The section unscrews to reveal the included Schmidt standard international cartridge converter which has a reinforced nipple and there's a silicone o-ring right there at the base of the section threads which facilitates converting this pen into an eyedropper. The inside of the cap shows a step milled into the material that meets with the end of the section to seal the nib. The cap posts very securely but not very deeply and makes the pen very long but the cap is so light that it doesn't back weight the pen very much at all. 
and the section is so long that you can back your grip up to write with the pen posted comfortably unposted the pen is very comfortable in the hand and those hand cut cap threads are not obtrusive in the least this is the main difference between the model 4c and the model 3c the model 4c has a continuous body shape with no steps from the cap to the barrel when it is capped to allow this there needs to be a step down to the section when you are writing the model 3c avoids this uh, by having the cap have a bit of a rounded step to the barrel but then there's no step between the section and the barrel when you're writing six of one and half a dozen of the other my preference well one of each of course hey coleman yes what should we do about lunch the lobster the crack crab can't we have both sir lobster and crack crab for everyone extra primo good mr coleman sir i bought this pen directly from ranga pens as part of a group buy offer through facebook you go through a lengthy menu of choices ebonite or acrylic color hardware or no hardware matte or polished and then a choice of a wide range of nibs from sizes ef to broad and even a number eight size nib in some models and choices of nib materials from steel and titanium to gold 14 karat gold 18 karat gold and flex nibs and there are choices of brands from bach to yovo or ranga and nib materials from gold color chrome two-tone red or black so the combinations are almost infinite the website is a little tricky to navigate but you can make all of your choices and the website keeps track of your final price for you as you go plus you can choose from a straight eyedropper pen to pens that have what they call a three-in-one filling system which comes with a cartridge converter and can be filled in three ways cartridge cartridge converter or eyedropper this particular combination of red ebonite with a gold metal clip the three-in-one style and a number six size yovo medium nib with the special group by discount cost me 59 dollars us with 15 dollars us shipping for a total of 74 dollars us now let's look at some size comparisons here is the ranga model 3c with a penlux masterpiece a leonardo Ferrore grande a fully wins ancient civilizations a mojung m1000 and a pilot metropolitan for scale now let's look at them posted and here they are posted you note that they are all number six size steel nibs but only the ranga 3c and the leonardo Ferrore grande have ebonite feeds now let's look at some measurements and i'll be back with a writing sample and we're back with the writing portion of the review this is claire fontaine 90 gsm paper and this is the Ranga model 3C and it has a number six size Yovo steel medium nib let's check the wetness right out of the box this pen is just really really smooth and wet and the ink today is diamine oxblood which I think is a perfect match for this pen. Here are some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com. It's a very popular ink these days, and I can see why. As to line variation, well, you can squeeze a little bit out of it 
it's not as stiff as a Chinese steel nib, but it is fairly stiff. And so you won't want to be flexing it. And this line is 0.6 millimeters in thickness, which makes it a Western medium. Surprise, surprise. Or a Japanese between a medium and a broad. And for our quote, And for some reverse writing. Well, that's a lot scratchier, but it's actually the feed is keeping up. Look at that. Very dry, but you're getting a much thinner line. And some quick writing. absolutely no issues whatsoever and again that's not a surprise that ebonite feed really really uh, supplies a lot of ink and as I mentioned uh, in my intro this model 4c I've had inked since I did the review back in February of 2021 it hasn't been without ink since and I've had it uh, capped and sitting uh, on my desk or or on my shelf Sometimes for weeks on end before I'd use it. I use it quite consistently, but now and then it'll go a couple of weeks without being used. And you open that pen up and it just writes like a gusher. Look at that. Now this is a broad nib, but boy, smooth, a little bit of feedback. Beautiful, beautiful pen. Just a joy to write with. So, what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? First, let me talk about Ranga in general for a moment. These pens are not mass produced. The Ranga website shows a huge variety of pen models, materials, and nibs. However, they're not always available. And that's because they are handmade. These pens are not machined by a CNC machine. They are turned on a lathe by a skilled artisan through experience and touch, one by one. Now every pen will be slightly different. They are consistent among the models, but you're getting an individually made item. So the pens show tuning marks and flaws and imperfections that are part of the handmade process. If you want the precision and perfection of a German pen, you're going to be disappointed with Oranga. But if you love the feel of a well-made, well-balanced writing instrument that just writes like melted butter. They like butter. And feels like it is made just for you, then seriously, give Ranga a try. In my review of the Model 4C, I showed all of the pen's imperfections, from the tooling marks uh, to the slight gaps and imperfection in the ebonite. I showed them close up. There's a little mark right, right there. But after writing with this pen for almost a year, I can tell you in all honesty, I don't notice those things in the least. And the writing experience of how this pen lays down ink on the page has obliterated those minor considerations from my memory. <laughs> Look at how that pen lays down ink. And this Model 3C is no exception. Right out of the box, I fell in love with this pen. It is light. It is well balanced. It is a joy in the hand and on the page. That's what she said. The ebonite is smooth and warm to the touch. The nib and feet are just sublime. I'm just going to call these pens perfect imperfection. These pens have character. These pens have soul. You feel like you're writing with tradition. This pen has been crafted with knowledge and skills passed down through generations. I can't say enough about how much I love both these Ranga pens. And yes, Michael is right. Ranga does not get the attention or the respect they deserve. Hey, I don't get no respect. No respect at all. And there you have it. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And don't forget that you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I will answer your comments in the comment section, and you'll get cool emojis and badges too. I don't have to show you any stinking badges. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you. For watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.